Spiritual Contemplation of Christ's Suffering, a Lenten Devotion, brought to you by Steadfast Press. Believe, teach, confess. Visit us at steadfastlutherans.org. Saturday, Lent 1. Read 1 Thessalonians 5, 12 through 24. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies, but test everything. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5, 19 through 23. The Virtue of Prudence. The second cardinal virtue that Christians are called to chase after is prudence. Though we may hear words like prude or prudish, this is not a selfish and stuffy way of living. True prudence is about wise discernment of the things of the world. This is why St. Paul tells the Christians at Thessalonica to test everything. To be discerning and prudent is to be wise enough to test all things, to learn what is good and what is evil. In this life of discernment, Christians learn to not despise true prophecies, and in doing so, they learn to hate false words spoken in the name of God. Indeed, one of the prophecies of Christ specifically spoke of his prudence. Soon after Ahaz learned that a virgin would bear a son, he was also told that this virgin's son would know how to refuse the evil and choose the good. Isaiah 7, 14 and 15. As a 12-year-old boy, Jesus knew that he must be about his father's business. As a grown man, Jesus wept in the garden, asking for the cup of God's wrath to be taken away from him. But knowing what was good, what was true, and what would result in beauty for all mankind, Jesus chose the good. He chose to suffer for the sins of the world. He chose to be beaten and mocked and derided, all so that his blood could be shed to atone for the sin of Adam, Eve, and everyone who can trace their lineage back to them. Last Sunday, Christ taught us how to refuse the devil by relying on the clear words of Holy Scripture. It is in the same written word that we learn to refuse the evil and choose the good in our daily lives. So return to the scriptures, cherish prophecies, test everything, and abstain from what is evil. You have come to us, Emmanuel. Teach us to choose the good and ever sing your praise as you teach us how to live. O come, thou wisdom from on high, and order all things far and nigh. To us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Amen. Come back tomorrow for another Lenten devotion from Steadfast Lutherans.